What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to blend different videos together and a few examples of why you want to do that. Now let's get started. Now, if you enjoy watching this video and you want to see more like it, please subscribe to the channel because I'm constantly creating more content. So let's head down to the timeline. So I have a couple of videos. So this first video is just this shot of the jellyfish going through and then I have a sec of bubbles with a black background. So I want to be able to merge these together. So first thing I want to do is always remember when you stack certain clips, think of the top of the playhead kind of like a flashlight shining down. So whatever's on top is what is seen first and so on and so forth. So if I put that on there, because this is completely black, cover, covering up the jellyfish. So I want to be able to lighten this up so I can show the underneath footage in addition. So some people say, oh, just adjust the opacity. Come up here to the source panel and you'll see there's the opacity down here at the bottom. But if I lower that, yes, it does lower it, but it also lowers all of it. It lowers the white bubbles, lowers everything. So if you go too far down, it eventually just disappears. So I don't want to do that. I want to keep all of the bubbles, but I want to eliminate the black. So just under the opacity, there's a thing right here called blend mode, and there's a drop down menu. And there's different sections here. There's this first little section here for the darken, the next sections for lighten, overlay, the differences, and then you and saturation and color. These different brackets will kind of focus on different things. So for example, this right here is saying we want to keep the darken and eliminate the light. And this is saying we want to keep the light and eliminate the dark. So for example, if I click this, it kept all the light features in that video clip, like the bubbles, and then it made all of the black transparent. So that's what I want to do. So now if I scroll through, it looks like the bubbles are working with the jellyfish. So that's the effect that I want. So you can play around the different sections in here, but generally the top two of each kind of section are the ones that I use the most. So I'm gonna render this out real quick. So that's obviously one reason you can do it. And you can also do it with text. I'm gonna put this text above both of these. So another reason you do this is if you don't want the text to be so brass, you can come up here, highlight this clip, do the exact same thing so I'm going to go down here. And so instead of the light and like I did with the bubble clip, I'm going to do the darken. So I'm essentially saying I want to keep all the dark colors in this video and everything else I want to become clear or blend in better. So if I click dark, it kept the black border of the letters, but all that blue color inside, because it was a lighter color, it dissolved and it kept the dark colors. So now this way you can have the text there, but you can have the video playing behind it. So it just has a smoother, cleaner look instead of just big block letters put on top of the video. So there's a couple different reasons that you'd want to do blending modes with video and text. You can also do it with your shapes or anything you want to blend together. Each item has a different color property or it has a different shade or texture. So when you play with different things, they'll affect each one differently, but just kind of tinker around and see what works best. And you can really come up with some fun images. Anyway, I hope this video helped showing you how to blend different videos and text together. If it did, please give it a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. And if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to the channel. That being said, have a great day. Later.